ever had a conversation with Jay Z in, in your life? No. Nah. Never met him in your life. Never met him. I told you the one time I met him. I said this on another podcast. You know, I, I, I missed the. Uh, I didn't miss the fight. I was just late because I missed the uh, my my plane got delayed, so I missed the meeting that I was supposed to uh, meet him. But um, you know, I, I didn't make that meeting. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. We had to go back to the devil. If we go back and talk about Megan, man, some y'all had to have some good times, man, to start that whole process. The foundation when I y'all had, first started, you had her at the place down there. No, I was having a great time all the way up until exactly. the day I actually saw the picture on Instagram. You understand? Mm-hmm. I didn't know nothing about nothing going. You talking on. with her and Jay? Yeah, you, mm-hmm. got you didn't even know that no, picture was coming. No, nah, I'm trying to tell you, I, I, my life was was going fine, and I think that was a problem too. They probably was just hating on the fact that I was just driving again out of baseball. Because what I hear a lot about uh, T. Ferris is that, and what Megan would say, well, he already had his already. He won hours now. You know, he he already made his money playing baseball. Why he want to come over here and get hours, you know? And that's, like, crazy to me because your boss has a baseball division. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and his company, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get upset for them wanting to, you know, learn baseball and do all that stuff. Like, why would you get upset about me wanting to switch into a lane and try to, you know, do something different and, um, you know, just be be something different. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had a conversation with Jay Z in, in your life? No. Nah. Never met him in your life? Never met him. I told you the one time I met him, I said this on another podcast. You know, I, I, I missed the, uh, I didn't miss the fight. I was just late because I missed the, uh, my, my plane got delayed. So I missed the meeting that I was supposed to uh, meet him. But, um, you know, I, I didn't make that meeting. And Jay and G kind of, uh, G Ropes and came and told me what he said. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't too cool. <laughs> well, he said he said he was going. What did he say? He said he was going. Um, he said he was going to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Everything was supposed to be taken care of. Yeah. It, but it, it, it ain't, ain't getting taken care, care of. Nah. So, that, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. I got. I want to go back to After something. COVID, you know, they was able to blame COVID for. Yeah, like, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Back up on yeah, so court systems, COVID, all so types. Oh, after COVID is over. After COVID, COVID was just an excuse for everything. Is COVID over now? I mean, I mean, if you ask them, they'll probably no. Tell you they still they still COVID. dealing with COVID, man. It's still COVID in their minds because shoot, that's what they're doing. I they gotta ask this question. Oh, hold on, hold on, dude. Uh, when it come down to the South and you being down here, I know I see Jay Jay Prince. You know what I mean? He started to link up with you and help you to try to understand right. it as well. And and the respect thing becomes a thing, you know, where hey man, you really had a legal bind in different situation with with call man. Let's you know, I'm talking layman terms now, you know. That's something to where that's credible in itself. But yeah, because that's the guy you know. They, he, he's your word is supposed to be born when you're talking to him, you know. Because he he looked he looked Jay in his eye and told him he was gonna take care of it too. So you know you lied to the old man. And so Jay like, made that meeting. Yeah, Jay made that meeting. So he li- he lied to Jay and told Jay he was gonna take care of it, and and, and he didn't take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So we don't know what what's going on. He's lying to everybody. Yeah, so I was like you making know, it up. What you know? I'm nah, like, he ain't making man. up. He lying. Hmm? Who, 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 I'm lying. Come on, nah, nah, Jay. Nah, Jay. Which Jay? Now you talking about Jay Z? No, Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z. Oh, oh, Jay, Jay Z. He's Jay saying he lie. If he look, if he, he talking to you, eyes. it's just like if me and you here, mm-hmm. and I say, say, call man. We get, we need to do a meeting. I'm gonna be in Houston, and I'm coming up there, and we're gonna take care of something. Right. And I get up there, and that that we say we're gonna take care of. I don't go to your house. I go somewhere else and hang out somewhere else, and I never even really talk to you. And then I, I see you and say, "Yeah, we're gonna get that. I just miss yeah. you that time, but we're gonna get it." Yeah. And I never, never get never it. Never get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they letting the, they clearly letting the lawyers and the, and the court system play it out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. They feel yeah. confident about how know, hard is it to resolve them. though. It ain't hard at all. You know what I'm saying? It's just they know we have a binding contract, so the weight game is to just keep pushing it back, keep pushing it back, make me spend money on lawyers, try to draw you out so that you know you just want to come in and accept any type of offer that they give you. And that ain't happening with you? No. I already know you. You competitive as hell. I mean, you you know, just, just your life lives I mean, on competitive. The only thing bad is just, you know, you got this cloud, this dark cloud over your head. Like, I'm really ready to attach myself from the Megan Thee Stallion um, just process. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like we can't do that. We can't. Nobody can move forward until this stuff is over with. And um, at the end of the day, uh, I, I feel like she want to move on as well. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We tired of it. But, you know, you I got know. these egos behind us. You know what I'm talking about? That. You know, don't want to let it go, and um, you know that's kind of what we're doing. Man, I love her music, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ever since you start dealing with her, the music, like yeah. the music, just the, 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 I be like, damn, she got some. Yeah. You know, so every project be pumping. So I know niggas love it. 
You know what I'm saying? Call, I mean, hey, I hey, Carlos know. Miller say he, he take his shirt off when he listen to it. You know, he out of, out of that I only age. listen to her by myself. What? I, what? Listen, I listen to Meg Thee Stallion with my shirt off. <laughs> you feel some type of way? I'm like, damn, my whole shirt off when I listen to Meg. Is he go, ow, you know what I'm Whichever bitch want to come get it, I got it. I'm giving out work, I'm applying. These yeah. bitches talking. Uh, man. <laughs> oh, hell, bro. <laughs> she, yeah, she go in, dog. I love Rap her. hard. Hell yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.